Thank you, and hello everyone, and welcome to this webinar on DevOps, the new standard. My name is David McKissick, and I'm a senior pre-sales engineer at Tripwire. Within the market, there's evidence that companies are moving to a hybrid environment. That means they're looking to use, or currently using, a mixture of private cloud and public cloud services, as well as physical and virtual on-premise servers. The challenge with adopting these services is how can you securely manage them and all the applications that reside on them. From a recent right scale report, the average amount of cloud services used by companies is above three. This means that the average organization could be using Amazon AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud to store content and run applications and servers, and this number will continue to rise. When we talk about the cloud, there are three major challenges. These are DevOps, which we'll be focusing our discussion on, containerization, including Docker, and finally, public cloud environments, and Tripwire is ideally placed to assist with all three challenges. DevOps is heavily intertwined with the cloud. Almost every company that has adopted the cloud or is going to adopt the cloud will use a DevOps methodology for how they're going to roll out applications and manage changes. However, it's not exclusive to the public cloud. DevOps can easily be applied to private cloud, virtual and physical infrastructure, which is on-premise. When we talk about DevOps, it's good to remember that it's more a mindset. It's ensuring that developers and application writers are working alongside IT operations people to create the applications and then roll out in as short a time as possible while still being in control. By working together as a team, this makes the whole process more efficient, more streamlined and much smoother. Traditionally, you'd have software developers create software that's released on something like a quarterly basis and then it will be rolled out gradually into production. You may hear the DevOps term, move fast and break things. It's perfectly acceptable to create and roll out code into production quickly, providing you're able to detect problems instantly and roll back changes that don't work very quickly. One of the big DevOps inhibitors is security. The most common challenge is how to create a situation where companies can push out the changes and applications hourly, daily, weekly, depending on the requirements, but still being able to control the security aspect. If security can be enabled more efficiently within the DevOps methodology, then this barrier, in terms of quickly pushing out code, can be removed. What would happen historically is that the security team would assess and evaluate how secure the application was prior to rollout, but this would be done in conjunction with them doing other tasks and could take weeks, maybe even months, to complete. If we look at the right scale report, we can see that Puppet, Chef and Ansible are the most used DevOps orchestration tools, although the top three are pretty interchangeable, and we can see that many people are looking to use all of these in the future. From a Tripwire perspective, we've got integrations with most of these tools. Here at Tripwire, we can help with the security aspects of DevOps, known as DevSecOps. The DevSecOps answer is that security fits in everywhere. Rather than making security a release gateway, or something that only happens in later stages of a release, security is integrated into every part of the workflow, so from the original planning right through to deployment, and this works as a loop as this is a continuous cycle. The DevOps way of automating everything is a great fit for security. Instead of automated tests that only cover functionality, they can also involve security tools to handle security testing before anything goes to production. Security can even be a part of deploying new infrastructure. Configuration tools like Puppet and Chef that allow you to define your infrastructure as code also allow you to define the secure configuration of the infrastructure as code as well. A DevSecOps workflow for infrastructure could involve writing the code to find a new server, building a new virtual machine of that server, testing the virtual machine for vulnerabilities and configuration failures, updating the code to correct any failures, and repeat until you can eventually deploy an already secure server to production with high confidence 
and continue to monitor it for any drift from its original security posture. When speaking with customers, there are about four different use cases of how Tripwire can assist and integrate with your existing DevOps toolset, and we'll dive into these in more detail. In addition to using DevSecOps to build secure services and applications, the DevOps process itself needs to be secured. A compromise of a Git repository, Jenkins server, or Puppet Master could make all of your other security precautions meaningless. These critical pieces of DevOps infrastructure need to be locked down and monitored as closely as your company's AD server. A configuration management tool like Puppet generally has full root access to anything using it. If someone was able to modify Puppet's configuration scripts, they would be able to make arbitrary changes as root across your entire environment, and this is something Tripwire Enterprise could detect. A Puppet master has a code directory containing all of its manifests and modules. That directory needs to be monitored for unauthorized changes. Chef has a similar directory called the bookshelf that is used to store all of the cookbooks for the server. It's also important to avoid hard coding keys and passwords into DevOps scripts. These scripts generally exist in more than one place, like on all of your developer workstations. Having the password or API key to a highly privileged account in plain text and spread across your environment is a big risk. Puppet has a built-in tool called Herrera to separate out code from important configuration data. Using Hiera, scripts can be freely distributed and checked into source control without any passwords, and the secrets themselves can exist only in the configuration file on the Puppet Master. You can further mitigate the risk of leaked credentials by making sure that the accounts have only the privileges they need. You usually do not need services to have administrator account access for a cloud environment or database server. The second use case is if you're a Tripwire Enterprise customer, you can use DevOps tools Puppet, Chef, and Ansible to automatically deploy TE agents and Axon agents within the DevOps rollout. These are free of charge to existing customers, and as we saw previously, Puppet, Chef, and Ansible are the most popular tools currently in use. If using Puppet, you can import the Tripwire script and then simply install the Tripwire agent. Once installed, the agent will communicate with the Tripwire Enterprise server and be ready to monitor for changes. These integrations make it easy to orchestrate the deployment of the agent to assist with the DevSecOps methodology and can assist the security teams as part of the security aspect that is now handled by the DevOps teams. The third use case is being able to automatically reconcile changes made by Puppet. One of the key features within Tripwire Enterprise is being able to query a config management database and automatically reconcile a change if it's been carried out by the correct engineer and the correct type. We can extend this usage into a DevOps environment and automatically promote changes that have been pushed out by Puppet, as this would be the standard tool being used to deploy updates to business critical servers. For any changes that are carried out by anything other than Puppet, then it's these changes bypassing the current process and procedure that needs to be investigated. The final use case is having the ability to perform assessments in your pre-production environment. Customers who've adopted a DevOps methodology may be using an application security product such as Veracode or Fortify to look at the developer source code and detect vulnerabilities. Of course this is valuable, but Tripwire can take this further and apply this protection to the infrastructure side. Being able to perform system hardening, apply best practices and operating system vulnerability checks is a standard function of Tripwire solutions. By doing this pre-prod, you can minimize the disruption within your production environment and spend time more efficiently on other tasks. Finally, I'd just like to share some contact information for any follow-up questions. This slide does contain a short abstract of what Tripwire does, and in the interest of time, I'm not going to read it all out. However, if any of the information I've just shared with you is something you'd like to look into a bit further, or if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to either myself, Julian, or in fact, any members of the Tripwire team. 
Alternatively, please visit our website at www.tripwire.com where you'll find a list of resources available to download. Another point to mention is that Tripwire are very active on social media platforms and as such are always releasing new blogs, Twitter feeds and LinkedIn posts to try and keep everyone informed on what we are seeing on a daily basis. If you are currently subscribed to any of these social media platforms, please take the time to subscribe to some of our social media streams and this is a great way to try and help our customers keep ahead of the security game.